Hi everybody, and welcome to Travelling with Russell, and welcome to Moscow City, and welcome to what could possibly be one of my favourite videos that I'm going to be making here on the channel. Check out those buildings behind me. Now, I've got a chance today to go and tour a couple of apartments that are available in these buildings, and we're going to go check them out together. Let's go. Of course, Moscow City is very famous for its skyscrapers and the fact that they're all clumped very close together. Around about a five kilometer square radius, all these apartment buildings are all uh, built around and centered around Afia Mall, the big shopping center. And where we're gonna go is Capital Towers these buildings right in front of us. Now the actual apartment we're gonna go see is in the middle tower, it's called the City Tower. And I'm gonna head on over there. And by the magic of editing, we're gonna be right outside in a matter of seconds. As you can see today isn't the best of weather. It's rainy, it's windy, it's a little bit cold. But once we get in these apartments, I think it's gonna be a whole different thing. Now, there is actually three towers here. One is called the River Tower. One is called the City Tower. And the third one is called the Park Tower. Now, the one that we're gonna go and see is in the City Tower. And we're gonna go look at an apartment on the 37th level. And then we're gonna go look at one on the 57th level. I'm trying to remember the different levels. The actual building itself is 69 floors and this is purely a residential tower and all apartments and this is the lobby area right in front of me here. Now there is quite a few different entrances so it's just a matter of finding the right spot and then finding the guy that's going to show me around because I've been given a brief chance to go for a walk around these couple of apartments and I'm really looking forward to it. So I just want to let you know ahead of time uh, I was given a very gracious opportunity to come and have a look at a couple of apartments. Now the way I filmed it is a little bit out of sequence so depending on how you're watching it it's now in order and I've had to film something beforehand, something after, something before because we had to get some keys to access the unfinished apartment and I'm very grateful to the gentleman that helped me get a walk around of these apartments so if you're watching thank you so much <laughs> really and truly I never in my dreams would I think that I'd have a chance to come and have a look in these apartments you know, you can walk past it all day long, you can stare at it from the other side of the river, but to actually be able to walk in and check this out is something completely different. It's not every day you get a chance to come to these types of luxury apartment buildings. Now this place is still under construction and I knew that before coming here. And there is actually some people living here not too many and the apartment that we're going to go see is actually a finished apartment and completely move-in ready basically and then the other one we're going to go and see is not finished at all and indefinitely in a bit of a different shape now i think we need to go through this door right here and head on inside what i will do is i'll save the prices of the apartments until the end and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of that at home because it's just a little bit easier to talk through the numbers because of course these places aren't cheap and it's probably a little bit easier to explain it with a bit of a graphic on the screen but as I am walking around uh, please write for me what you think the price would be either in rubles or dollars and also the price for sale and for rent and let's see how close we are 
Let me now get back to the door where I was heading in and we're gonna go and head on upstairs. So I find my way around to the entrance. Now there is a lot of work going on and a lot of the finishing work. Now the actual main building is completely done, but they're just now finishing off all of the cosmetic parts of the building. So let's head on inside. And so for now, basically, we're sort of going in the, the tradesman's entrance, as they say now, of course, when this door is all fully functioning, it would make complete sense. And have a look at the lobby here. So you can see not too many people walking in and out and basically from the underground parking there's an elevator right here and then you'd come then up to the lobby area so there'd be a concierge here normally of course while ever the building's not fully uh, ready and finished it's nobody there and all the furniture and just have a look how big this lobby is and how echoey it is as well. Now, to go up to the apartment, we need to go through this door. Now, of course, for now, the button to get through isn't working, but let's get to the elevator and head on upstairs. And just like that, one of the elevators is here and we're gonna go on inside now. Well, ever the, the building is not fully functioning yet, we're gonna basically get the lucky chance to ride the elevator with the security guard. So obviously if this was fully functioning, we'd be able to ride the elevator normally. Coming out of the elevator on the 37th floor. So there's still a lot of the building that's under some construction. Pretty much everything's finished though. You'll see they've got bubble wrap on the door and you know, just to protect everything until the final handover. And then coming through, there is actually an apartment here that they're working on next door. And where we want to go is right here. And this particular apartment is actually finished, the interior, but of course, the outside of the apartment and the lobby areas are still work in progress. There's not much left to do for it to be completely finished. The doorbell is not there, but all good. Now, as we come inside, I think I've explained this in a few videos. It's customary to take your shoes off, no matter the house that you go to or apartment. Now, the first thing that we really see is the view out of those windows ahead of me here. So what I'll do, I'll give you a bit of a walk around and then you can see, so this is completely finished, move in ready. Of course, I'm very famous on the mirror here. There's a little closet here for washing and then the technical space there with all of the pipes and then this entrance. Pretty sure here you could have a nice place to put your coat or a, like a dressing table. And then there's plenty of storage here on this left hand side. Actually, that's where all the electrical boxes are. And then over here, you've got some storage. Now, I'm pretty much doing this completely blind, like I'm walking in the first time I have briefly walked around, but we've got a bedroom off to the right hand side. Now these glass doors are pretty cool. Now there's the bathroom right here and a very nice shower, toilet and vanity, heated towel rail. Very, very nice. Now I know I'm saying that a lot, but really you'll understand what I'm saying. Oh, here is, here is the, we were trying to not get each other in the shot, <laughs> but I came in the wrong room first. 
So this is the bedroom. So this is essentially what they would call a two room apartment, but what most people in the world would call a one bedroom apartment. So of course, nice big bed here. There's the wardrobe behind the mirrors over there. And then have a look at this view here. And you know, if you're a little bit afraid of heights, perhaps don't look down, but you can see a whole lot of Moscow right here. And this is actually a corner apartment too. So we're gonna see from the other window an even more amazing view. You can see some of the buildings of Moscow city and beyond. Now, if you look off in the very distance, you can see CSK football stadium. Now, I don't know all the landmarks in Moscow, but definitely I recognize a few things. Very nice view from the bed. Now, this apartment has literally just been finished. There's a few more little things to do. You can see even the vacuum is here, but the place is absolutely spotless. It does actually have climate control. You can also open and close the curtains with the button right here. It's all smart connected, if that makes sense. Actually, there's even USB-C cable right there for charging. I didn't even notice that. And then coming through, I'm gonna think here, we're gonna jump in and out of each other's shot. So the kitchen here is absolutely stunning. Now, literally nobody has lived here yet. And this place, well, now I'm just hoping that I'll get the key left under the mat and I can come and visit and spend the day here again. Beautiful kitchen, so built-in fridge here. Of course, Smeg appliances. Now I was told this is all Italian designed bespoke kitchen, which of course absolutely is. It's very nice a little dining room table here, or quite a big dining room table. And then that view again. Now let me just pan around and show this space here and this corner view. Absolutely amazing. Nice big wall. Looks like the painting's about to go up at some point. Now the dog, He's nice and quiet, so we won't bother him too much. And then just have a look at the view. Now it's almost hard to kind of <laughs> take your eyes off the window, but there's a beautiful sofa here that you can just chill out on and relax. And then like we saw from the bedroom, this same view on this corner, and then it wraps around and you're absolutely staring at Moscow city and there's nothing else you can see really with your eyes than this view. Now, if you watched a previous video on the channel, you know I did the walk over the bridge right in front of me here and then across to Moscow city. Today again is a little bit of a cloudy, rainy day. You can actually see off in the distance Luzhniki Stadium over here and then Moscow State University. You can just see the top of that in the distance and then the corner of Gorky Park is over there as well. And then Kutuzovskaya metro station is off in the distance. And then actually just around the corner to the left there would be Kiev railway station. And then the great Moscow River on the bottom level, well, street level, should we say. Nice TV. And these curtains are all uh, uh, electronic opening and closing. Just amazing, wow. Now I'm saying wow a lot, but honestly and truly when I first walked in here, there was a lot of wow. Now for anyone that's asking me about a hot plate or where is the hob, it blends in with the, this marble countertop here. So there's definitely one there. I know I get questioned on that a lot in my videos, but it's definitely right there. And again, one more time, this view Check out this light. It looks like swan heads. Now, tell me if that's right. I think that's swans. The heads yeah. of swans. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, just let me know in the comments, could you live here? 
Now, I guess the one thing, do you have a fear of heights? Now, I've asked that in a community tab post in my channel, and there's a bit of a 50-50 kind of answer to it. Now, I don't think I'd get tired of staring out this window. So we're gonna have a look inside a second apartment here, and this is on the 57th floor. Now, this place is actually under construction or in the final finishing phase and it's probably a little bit hard to grasp the layout of the place when it's in this condition and this is 110 square meters so when you first walk in there's a little bit of a hallway here and then this place would be where you'd put your coats there'll be a wardrobe at some point and then coming through there's technical space and all of the air conditioning and pipes and this is where you'd have the laundry as well so you got somewhere to wash your clothes and then this is the bedroom so this essentially is a one bedroom place but it's really got a very big lounge room which we'll see in a second so all the cables are all needing to be finished and all the walls are plastered so they'll end up just getting painted and have a look at this floor to ceiling window right here and the view and then you've got the connecting bathroom right here. So on the left would be the toilet. Actually, I think the bath would go here in the window. I'm just looking at the pipes and the layout shower right here. Actually, that would be the toilet right there. Um, but have a look from here. You've got a loo with a view and have a look down at the Moscow River. 57 floors down to the street. And then you can see Kutuzovskaya Prospect. And then if you watch my previous video, that's the bridge that we crossed over to come into Moscow City. You can see Luzhniki Stadium off in the distance. You can see Moscow State University. Wow. This place is phenomenal. And then the view from the bedroom window, pretty much the same, but you can actually see the other tower right here. And then looking back actually towards Arbat Street off in the distance. And that's Hotel Ukraine right there. And then let's go and have a look at this main lounge room. Now, of course, with it not finished construction, so the actual building itself and everything is ready to go. It's just a matter of now bringing in the construction masters or meisters. So this would actually be a second bathroom or a, I'm not sure what you'd call this, powder room, I think is probably the best description. And if you've got people coming over, they can use that to freshen up and then have a look at the room right here. So I'm not sure how this would lay out. Perhaps the fridge might be right there. And then there'll be essentially a kitchen in this space. And then an island right here. And then the lounge room and dining room. I'm not sure how you would lay it out. Someone needs to tell me in the comments. And have a look at that view. Again, it's very hard to not stare out the window, honestly and truly. Have a look at Hotel Ukraine right there. That's amazing, the view. Now I've actually walked across that bridge a few times. You can see all of Moscow from up here. It is absolutely stunning. Now I wonder if anybody can tell me in the comments what the price of this place would be. Now I'm going to reveal that at the end of the video and you're going to be maybe surprised, maybe not. This corner view though, you are literally hanging over the edge of the river, if that makes sense. Now of course this has still got the remodeling to be done and finished. Have a look at the park down here as well. And there's actually a pool in the middle of the park there where the pond is. Of course, it's not summer yet, so 
It's not been reopened. Wow. You can see all the boats on the river. And then just looking back at the place from here. This is phenomenal, really and truly. I'm very fortunate to come and have a look at this with the gentleman that I'm with and then with the um, person that does the remodeling in here. Now, I was very curious about airflow in here. Now, where these wood panels are covering, these are actually uh, air ducts or air conditioning ducts. But there is actually this tiny slither of a window letting fresh air in, literally. So that's, if anybody's worried that they're not gonna be able to get fresh air inside. Now, this would have been the platform for plastering. Well, what do you think, everybody? Could you live here with this view? I'm very curious. Someone needs to tell me. Now, I'm not a real estate agent. This is not <laughs> anything that I can deal with. <laughs> but I guess if you put something in the comments, I can find somebody that can help you with this kind of apartment. We just came out of this apartment in front of us right here. And then we've actually got a chance to go and see what the unfinished version looks like. This is literally how you can buy the apartment. Now all of these pipes on the floor are the hot and cold water and also heating pipes. Now this place is about 170 square meters now. The gentleman I'm with doesn't exactly know because we've just got access to it. We think this is closet storage. And then there's another storage right here. And then I'm gonna go through to this very big room, which I think at the best is the lounge room. Now I'm using these words very loosely, so please let me know if this is something else. Have a look at the view of Moscow City right there. Holy smoke. This is exactly where I walked a couple of days ago. I have to watch my footing here because there's still some exposed things on the floor. Now the best I can understand is over here would be perhaps the kitchen. <laughs> We're not too sure how this is laid out uh, or a bedroom. And then over here, is either the bathroom or the closet. Um, but very high ceilings. Of course, pretty much this is absolutely unfinished how it looks right here. Now I'm gonna go through this narrow passage here to what we think is a couple more bedrooms and perhaps another storage or wardrobe right here. And then again, you can see from the bedroom here, this view. Oh, this is just amazing. So this is the apartment next door to the one that we were just in. I'm hopefully gonna edit this in sequence so at least I can understand it a little bit. And then the view here, so you can see all of the walls and everything. They basically got these metal struts up, which is what they'll plaster up to. So they'll use the cement board for plastering and then finish off the place. And this is on the same floor. This is essentially the neighbor's apartment to the one that we just were in a few minutes ago. So you can see that I'm now actually at home and I thought this would be a little bit easier to do the video in this format because it's just hard to explain the prices and the number of zeros and I thought also I could show you the website where I found a couple of listings and the breakdown of the prices. So you'll see just above my head there is the breakdown of the two different apartments that uh, I walked through. So the first one, which was the finished one with the furniture inside, and then the second one, which had the plastering and the walls finished, and just the sockets weren't done and things like that, and the bathroom and kitchen. 
And then I didn't quote the third one because that was actually a little bit unexpected to walk in there. Essentially, as I was walking out of the second one, the other door was open and I thought I'd just go for a wander in. So this is a website called uh, Siam and it's a very well-known website in Russia for looking for apartment listings. Uh, there is a few others that you can use. One is also called Avito. Now, Siam tends to have a few more listings with real estate agents and not so many privately listed properties. Now, the one thing I was pointed out uh, when I was there yesterday was a lot of the listings for luxury places like this tend to not necessarily be on websites. They'll just be privately for sale through real estate agents that don't actively advertise on websites like this. So I know that might seem a little strange, but I think luxury or high-end apartments and houses for sale tend to find their buyers or the agents find the buyers. So the first one that we went to, I'm going to call apartment number one. It was on the 37th level. Now, there is actually three towers. I did point that out in the video. This is also the map showing the three different towers. And if I just zoom back a little bit more, you can see the main part of Moscow City. And actually, as I zoom in, this is pretty interactive. It shows the towers. And then that middle part is the shopping center there. And then this building right here is the convention center. And then these are the three towers that make up capital towers. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the video is that these are solely residential towers. Now, all of the towers that are in Moscow City are actually mixed-use buildings. So there's actually commercial and there is business offices and then there's some residential in the same buildings. But these three towers are purely residential. So the bottom level uh, as I walked in is where the lobby is and things like the concierge. There is a plan to put perhaps a couple of boutiques or shops there or cafes and there is actually a space for a restaurant as well. And then on the upper level of the entrance, there is also a very small park area, an outdoor area, um, which is all enclosed in the complex of the three towers. So the three different towers there, one that was nearest the river is called the River Tower. And then the one that we actually went in is called the City Tower. And then the third one behind it is called the Park Tower because you can see this very nice park. Pretty much from all three towers, you would have some kind of a view of all three things, right? You saw that in the video. So I did actually find two listings that are for sale. Now, the first one that I'm just gonna compare here is the one that we went in that was finished. Now, this particular one is the same size square meterage, uh, 67.3 square meters it says there, but I think I mentioned 66 square meters. So this is exactly the same layout, uh, 93 and a half million rubles. Now that equates to 1.5 million dollars US, uh, Australian dollars, uh, just right about a million US and about a million euros. Now, depending on the exchange rate that you're using, right now it's pretty close to 100 rubles to a euro or a pound and then for us it's around about i think 93 so give or take uh, for australian it's 61 rubles to a dollar of course you can look that up that's completely up to you but you can see here the price is broken down there 66 square meters so 720 square feet again it was on the 37th level now there is actually a couple of photos of this one that we can pull up. Now, where are we? Let's have a look. I just need to find the website right here. And then this one's actually a little bit differently set up in the photographs because they've got the sofa right over the window. Now, of course, the one we went in, the sofa was on the right-hand wall. And then they've also got a door here to the bedroom, which in the apartment we toured, it was not there, so they actually went in the bedroom by the bathroom door. So it's a little bit differently laid out. The kitchen is pretty much the same, so you can see the bathroom door just there. 
and then off to the left would be the actual entrance to the bedroom. So it's fairly well the same layout. Uh, the kitchen is all the same. I would imagine they took this at night because it's a lot darker looking. So yeah, I would prefer the sofa on the left and then the TV on the right so you can take in the view. But that's whoever did the designing of this, I think. Uh, you can see there where this cabinet is, which is where the door would be to the bedroom. I much prefer the layout that we toured than the way they've got it set up here. So I imagine that's just a personal thing. So uh, this apartment that they've got advertised here is on the 14th level. Now the prices would go up the higher you are. So if you imagine on the 37th level, it would be higher again uh, in the price. So let me know how you compare this to where you live. 66 square meters, 720 feet. Now, of course, I don't really have any logic to this pricing because I've never lived in apartment style living in Australia. I mean, I'm not sure how this compares. You can let me know in the comments that uh, and it would maybe make sense. Now, I'm going to go over to the second apartment, which is the one where it had the white wall finishes and the one that I found to compare here. Actually, it's 118 square meters. I think in the video I said 110 square meters. Now, when we went in that second apartment, we weren't really sure of the size because a lot of it, we really just went in there on the spare of the moment. So that's listed at 138 million. Now, this again is on the 33rd level that this is listed at. And we were on the 57th level, so quite a lot higher up. Um, the exchange difference there, you can see from 138 million Australian dollars, 2.2 million, US dollars, 1.4 million, and then euros, 1.3 million euros. Now, I would imagine the price would go up a fair bit based on the level that the apartment's on. So we were actually on the 57th level in that apartment, uh, the second one, and the building goes up to 69 levels. So you could actually... Get even higher. Now, this one, actually, that's for sale. It's completely finished interior, but it's not with furniture and decorations. Now, in Russia, very typically, a lot of stuff is sold fully furnished and fully decorated, and you literally buy it exactly how you see it, and whatever's in the apartment is in the apartment. So this particular one is unfurnished. Of course, they're showing the views and the layout of the building and you know which is pretty much i think more important necessarily than the apartment for me but um yeah the bathroom's finished there with the marble tiles and the bathtub there so we didn't see we saw the location where the bathtub could be but there it is right there that big eggshell shaped bathtub yeah now, just again, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the pricing and the apartments. And we're going to jump over to the last part of the video <laughs> and do my usual outro. So thanks for watching this style of video inside the video, and I hope it's insightful. I will actually put a link to the website that you can use to look at the listings. Of course, there's a lot in Moscow you can find. This, again, was in the Capital Towers in Moscow City. So if you're looking for those, then you could click that to check it out. So with the power of editing, I'm actually back here in Moscow City. You can see the buildings right behind me. I'm actually heading to the metro now to head on home. And I'm very curious, what do you think of the price of these places? And what do you think of the view out the window? There, there are really two main questions I want everybody to comment on. And are they closely priced? to perhaps where you live in the world. Maybe have you checked out some skyscrapers before on the real estate market? Maybe you live in one, something similar to these. Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It was really interesting to come today and film this. Now I actually spent quite a lot more hours there than I filmed here on the video. Now, I had a good chance to catch up with the people that live in this building and to talk about it a little bit more and just the the how it is for them to live so close to Moscow City 
and some of the difficulties about it. So it was really very interesting for me. And then for you, hopefully the video was really cool. And if you want to join me on Telegram, there's a link to it, I think right here. And then there'll be a link right here to another video on the channel. Maybe you can watch another apartment tour of another apartment here in Moscow that I made. Thanks everybody. I'm off on another adventure. Bye.